Another day, another video. Today we're gonna talk about the 320 and uh, exactly about the 32, which is a uh, landing gear system. And today we are replacing the nose gear. Uh, extension detection actuator which is over there it holds down here and um, yeah i'll try to tell you a few things about it and show you how to install it so let's take a look at it this what you can see is nose landing gear bay whenever pilots will uh, hit the lever and retract the landing gear so this is the place where the landing gear uh, retract so during flight it is stored in this section and uh, yeah let me show you a few components which we have here everything what you can see up there uh, actuator and the lock that's for the door so once we uh, close the door it will start to close the actuator and uh, yeah once it hit the top uh, it will lock on the top you can find uh, the bushing which will uh, ho which will be locked so that way it holds in the closed position we have similar lock for no sliding gear you can find it all the way up there there that's your no sliding gear lock it will catch this bushing so thanks to this bushing it holds the whole landing gear on that uh, lock all the way up there the gear is retracted thanks to the actuator which uh, we already removed from here it's it's connected all the way up there and thanks to hydraulic force the whole landing gear will close the important part of the landing gear is this uh, drag strap this this section over here which leads all the way here this strut is very important structural component of the landing gear system because the weight is distributed between four points this one that one and those two up there so thanks to those four points the weight is evenly distributed and, and for better understanding i have for you side view where you can see that uh, nose landing gear on airbus a320 is slightly tilted forward exactly nine degrees and if it is still not really clear i have this drawing for you where you can see that weight is actually really distributed between all four points and why this design like this well there is several reasons one of them is shock absorption geometry the incline geometry affects how the shock strut absorbs vertical loads, helping with the smoother touchdowns and the load distribution into the aircraft structure. And another important reason is improve of ground stability. Because thanks to this 9 degree angle and weight evenly distributed on both wheels, keep the airplane go straight, which is helpful during taxi or especially during takeoff, because then you really need to go straight. And once airplane wanna turn, you actually need to overcome this force and the lift one of the wheels thanks to which we apply on the inner wheel quite higher force but don't worry those tires and wheels are manufactured for this and if we want to retract the nose landing gear we need to somehow break this drag state so it will move that way and landing gear can retract you will see it later on during the test and the magic behind how to do that is this this is our lock stay. This lock stay assembly is responsible for holding this uh, drag strat on position. And this is our landing gear pin. This prevents the landing gear to collapse. Yeah, thanks. If we will remove this pin and we will apply the hydraulic uh, power on a uh, lock stay actuator, it will retract this will break it will pull it up and that will allow this a drag stay to move that way and the landing gear can retract so all those components need to cooperate together to keep the airplane landing gear in position another important part of this lock stay 
except the actuator are those springs. Those springs are responsible whenever we will use the free fall extension that we're not gonna use hydraulic system, so we'll mechanically uh, extend the gears. Uh, those springs will gonna pull the whole lock stay down and it will lock in open position. The landing gear will remain in extended position and only thanks to those springs it will get there. So they are very vital component of uh, landing gear extension. Thanks to those springs and of course uh, weight of the gear which will fall down, those springs will secure it in the down and lock position. So then what is the sequence? Now we know basically how the all components works, but how the, we will retract the gear. So lock stay actuator will pull the lock stay up and thanks to that drag strat will move as well that way, which will allow landing gear to move forward. In that point, uh, when uh, this target will be far, will allow hydraulic pressure enters into the actuator and that actuator will actually retract the landing gear up on the ground. We always need to put pin in for safety. Okay, those are more or less all information which I want to share with you. And now let's uh, start with the installation. As a first, we will align the actuator with attachment points and we are starting on the top, which is actually structure of the airplane. Once it is in position, we'll insert the pin, which uh, holds it in the place. And when that's done, we'll slide the bottom eye on the structure of the nose landing gear. Can I hold it? You are you holding it? I've got it. Okay, pushing through. Yeah. By the way, in my left hand, you can see guide cone, which help us align the actuator with the structure. Because without it, you might damage a uh, thread of the pin, or you can have a quite huge problems to properly align it. And of course, a proper lubrication is key to success. Okay. Yes. It's ours. It's done. All three things together. Thank you. Just check with me in sequence. Washer, so washer. This yeah, guy. lock, 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 lock plate, and, and uh, no. This one, but this way around, like this. Yes, I'll. Exactly that way. Yes. Installation. There you go. Double check. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Regarding torque, we always use either middle yep. or lower end Love of the range. It. So if okay. we click twice or three or four times, it doesn't really matter because we are still in the required torque value. After that, we need to secure the nut on the sleeve and we'll do it thanks to this lock plate. And this lock plate has small pin which holds inside of the sleeve. And on the outer surface, we have a few uh, other pins which we need to hammer into the nut. As a next, we need to install airframe attachment pin which we slide into the sleeve and we need to, of course, uh, tie it torque it and secure it the same way as we secure the sleeve. And this pin actually serve as a lubrication point for this part of the actuator. But you will gonna see this when we finish the work and we'll lubricate the whole actuator. Then we secure bottom end of the actuator on the leg assembly. And we secure it with a cutter pin. Okay, so we got that done. Yep. Okay, so all that's remaining now are... Let's go for the hoses. The hoses. Which means that we need to remove blind cups and we don't really need to be afraid of the hydraulic fluid because the line was drained and depressurized, of course. 
and now we just need to install both uh, lines and they need to go or unions need to go all the way uh, by hand we'll otherwise uh, it something means that either right the union side. doesn't sit correctly or there is some other problem when they are on the place we need to torque them uh, with a proper value and we need to torque both ends because uh, the actuator came with the horses and they then turned the other way around and we need to adjust this and as you can see we are talking all four connections and the last one okay double you all locked and of course one of the last few things go. is a go, lubrication go, go. of uh, both ends of the actuator remaining sealant and ops test yep love it and after lubrication we of course service hydraulic system pressurize the hydraulic reservoir after that we connect our hydraulic ground card prepare airplane for the air configuration and as well we install devices which are called targets on main landing gear proximity sensors which are responsible for air ground uh, signal reason for this is that we want to trick LGCIU that all three landing gears are in the air since we will gonna jack only the nose gear but more about them after removal since we already jacking up the airplane and then we'll perform the test so gear pin is out nose is jacked up and we just need to close the door we're ready for test three thousand hydraulic Get up! Okay, this is in progress. And don't worry, this is not normal speed of landing gear doors and the gears as well. We are using 3000 PSI from the ground car, but uh, with very low flow. And what's the reason for this? Well, a slow operation allows a bleeding of the hydraulic system. And since we need to bleed actuator and the lines, it is really necessary operation and this all is controlled through the hydraulic cart which I'm operating at the moment and as you can see nose landing gear is already retracted but the doors are still open the reason for that is that two out of three yes, uplocks are still open which means that I need to manually close main landing gear uplocks to trick LGCIU that landing gears are retracted and only then the doors will close that was right side, now I need to move to the left side and I need to be careful to be out of the motion of the doors and for this purposes I have a long non-metallic bar with which I'm closing the up locks. And since everything looks okay from the inside and from the outside, we will extend no sanding gear and again we are doing it very slow because of the reason which I already told you. Get up! And for proper bleeding, this procedure Slow. need to be done Added. five full times. Reducing the pressure. Seven percent of the flow. Gear up and lock. Gear down! Go! 
Gear is dropping down. Juice for the doors. And this is fifth and last extension of the nose landing gear. Okay. Gear is down, adding juice for the doors. Very good. Okay, time to switch off the system. And here we can pack everything. And we'll start with the lowering airplane to the ground and then we continue with the removal of all the other equipment. So because we went with the only nose gear up, uh, we installed the targets on the proximity sensors on the landing gear. So that way we basically trick the airplane that it's in the air with the gears. Basically, this is, this is how it looks. This is a target. And you place it over the proximity sensor. That way, you basically uh, trick the landing gear or LGCIU, the computer. Easy as that. And we need to use four targets because we have two proximity sensors on each leg because we have two independent computers and two main landing gears. And this was left gear and now we are looking on the right gear. And as you can see, proximity sensors and basically the construction overall is the same. So that's why we are using same four targets. And during the test, one of the uh, parts and or part of the test was to close up locks on the landing gears, which are up there. So in that case, we was able to close the door and only thanks to that. And I made already separate video only about landing gear proximity sensors. If you want, it is in the top right corner or later on, you will find link in description below. And now, you can see us removing hydraulic connections and preparing the airplane for the normal operation. So hydraulic cart is packed. I'll just close everything. And yeah, we need to seal the bolts in the front section and paperwork. And sealant was applied, duplicate inspection performed, which means that all what's remaining is to close no landing gear doors and as I said, we are going to perform the paperwork. Yep, everything closed. That's all about nose landing gear extension retraction actuator. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below and I'll answer you as soon as possible. Uh, as always, I would like to ask you to not use this as a replacement for a maintenance manual, but always use the latest documentation released by manufacturer. Big thanks to Austrian Airlines that they let me record all these videos for you. Uh, big thanks to each and everybody who watched my video and especially to members. That's all from my side. My name is Tomáš, this is Aircraft Maintenance with Zeto and I'll see you on next video. Bye.